she is, uh, in my mind, one of those sheroes uh, that demands uh, respect and acknowledgement. Clearly, uh, she was a lady ahead of her time. She walked through that mob in the war store. And they realized, of course, immediately where she stood. She joins Perlina and Annie at the counter, the first white to join the demonstration. And at this, the crowd is just incensed. They become like hornets. They start screaming at her. She wasn't the outside agitator. She was a white Southerner. She was a white Southern woman. And so for that purpose, she was even more dangerous to the white supremacist power structure. Here's this white Southern woman who's supposed to be protected by the system saying, I don't need this protection and I don't believe in the system. And so that made her incredibly dangerous. And that cell was 50 feet from the death chamber. That's where we were. As far as the state of Mississippi was concerned, we had committed capital crimes. We had no doubt we were going to die. Mississippi was known as the deepest of the deep south, the heart of darkness. Somebody was going to die that summer, and it looked like it was us. <laughs>